Hello everyone, Mo here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Bitmap ecosystem and the major developments that have been taking place. Uh, in my previous video on Bitmap, I did a quick recap on Phase 1 and also introduced Phase 2. For those of you new here, Bitmap is a groundbreaking project aiming to become the infrastructure layer of the metaverse in Bitcoin. In Phase 1, we saw the introduction of block inscriptions or block ownership where you were able to go to platforms like Unisat or um, Ordinal Wallets to inscribe blocks, which, you know, essentially gave you ownership of the blocks or districts. Then in phase two, we introduced the concept of uh, parcel inscriptions. This allowed users who already owned a district to inscribe the parcels within the blocks or districts, um, which just added another layer of interactions of ownership, yeah, you know, within the bitmap ecosystem. Uh, my previous videos on bitmap gave a detailed breakdown on both these phases and concepts. So yeah, you should definitely check it out to get a better understanding of it all. But for today's video, we're going to focus on, we're going to put the focus more on the bitmap ecosystem overall and the tremendous growth that have been taking place in such a short uh, time frame. Um, we have been seeing a lot of platforms and protocols emerging out of this community, platforms like a uh, mscribe or bitmap.land which i have talked about and these are all experiences really experienced platforms you also had data indexes like uh, messages in the mind which we'll talk more about in this video and also track we will track is an indexer track is a platform that takes all the block data and puts them in an indexer which creators and developers can then access to build whatever it is that they plan on building uh, you also have uh, art projects like uh, bitmap punks which is a platform that has a collection of all the bitmap that look like punks or crypto punks. Um, bitmap punk is an art project that invites anyone to explore, explore a unique interpretation of a bitmap block, effectively transform it, it into a piece of digital art, into the digital uh, piece of digital art in the Bitcoin metaverse. Uh, but before we jump into a bitmap punk, let's do a quick rundown of our bitfeed live to help us get a better idea of what these punks are um, this is bitfeed live this was the first platform that gave a visual representation of the blocks in this um 2d view uh, you could see um, you could use this platform to look at look for block blocks with unique qualities that you deem valuable or believe people will find valuable in the features these unique qualities could be based on the amount of transactions in the block or what the blocks look like overall, like you can see here. Um, each block is different based on the amount of transaction that's in it or the transaction size, as you can see here. Um, yeah, you can see this block is completely different from uh, the previous block based on, you know, the transactions that were in there and the transaction size. And uh, these are the most recent blocks. So, um, when Bitcoin right now is currently being used uh, as a network way more than it was um, before. Like right now you've seen, um, you have like towns that transaction that are like over a thousand blocks with transaction that are like over a thousand. Um, this block has like, you know, over 1700 transaction. But if you look at the earlier blocks, you can see that they have less transactions since the network um, wasn't being use as much and uh, as a result as, as a result like they had like complete completely different characteristics overall like um let's look at this block it's a block that's in the early 1000s 100,000s which a single transaction block as you can see here it completely looks different from the um you know um most recent block that we have over here with all these transaction um yeah, so this block is a single transaction block, but you also have uh, other blocks that look different. Like this one has uh, two transactions. You know, someone might find this valuable or unique and feel like, you know, they could build something, you know, interesting on it. And uh, this block over here, you can see it looks like a uh, punk facing to the right. And uh, this is where really the concept of bitmap, com bitmap punks come into play because um, with the punks, you... With, because with the punks you have to depend on um, data visualizers like uh, Bitfeed over here. Um, let's jump into the Bitmap Punk platform. Uh, let's get it loaded real quick. As you can see here, um, 
uh, this is the guidelines the uh, crypto punks uh, follow or the bitmap punks follow you can see them they kind of resemble um, the bitmap punks so to be considered like bitmap punks you have to have these features or characteristics um, you know here are some more um, example these are perfect punks as you can see um, this is based on the punk shape and the alignments really um, here there should be some more examples here yeah and here is some more punks these are not as perfect but uh you can see they have these colors kind of highlight in the eye mouth neck and nose um i would assume that the perfect punks would be worth more than these ones since those ones um, resemble more uh of the crypto punks um yeah here is some more examples too um but you know overall it's just another way for artists and people um artists and people are using to express themselves within you know the digital world so yeah you should definitely check this project out if you think they're interested or um you know believe they hold some kind of value um the next platform we're going to talk about is uh, messages from the minds messages from the minds is a platform with custom messages that have been permanently embedded in the bitcoin blockchain uh, some of these messages are love messages, cryptic poems, ASIC art, and a lot of um, interesting other things. Um, let's check out the platform. Uh, this is the first block. Actually, let's go back to it. This is the first, first block, uh, block zero, um, which was mined by Satoshi Nakamoto, and he left this um, short message within this block. Um, I believe this message was in reference to the financial crisis that took place um, back in 2008 uh, here's another block with a short message um, this message was left by coinbase in the early days um, coinbase was one of the only exchanges you could safely get um, bitcoin from so um they had a lot of blocks that um that were mined by coinbase with short messages um on this platform here um like this one um yeah um yeah, this is a block with an interesting message that has that also has some um, ASIC art within it. Um, this message is a this message is a tribute to um to a cryptographer named Lin who passed away back in twenty eight. Uh, you can see here they left a short eulogy. They left a short eulogy for him with some ASIC art, which I believe um is a photo or artwork of him. Um, an interesting fact about this ASIC art is that uh, it's also the first piece of ASIC art that was embedded um, within the Bitcoin blockchain. The next platform I want to take a look at is BitLords.Land. This platform is a data aggregation platform, but they are also building a data visualizer, which we will talk more about. But as you can see here, this platform has all the blocks categorized based on some qualities. You have the high value blocks over here, high reward blocks, high fee blocks, and some more you know categories down here. Um, all of this information and data could be leveraged um, by developers and creators to build you know some pretty interesting things um, down the line. We're still pretty early in the bitmap protocol, and uh, you know all of these tools will play a major role in the development of the ecosystem overall. I believe you know yeah. So we're still pretty early. But also, um, you know, they have these block visualizers. Um, you can, uh, as you can see here, you can have an overall view of the block in this 2D uh, view. Uh, you know, looking at it, you, it gives you the block number, um, you know, the total transaction value that was in the block or district, you know, the total amount of parcels or um, transactions that were inside the block. And as you can see, as I'm hovering down um, each transaction or each parcel, the transaction number is turning, um, the parcel number is changing at the bottom left of the screen here with the transaction value. Um, you can also view the blocks in this 3D view. Um, you know, the bigger and taller the parcel, uh, the more value, the bigger or taller the parcel is, the more value it has. Uh, in terms of Bitcoin, uh, Mscribe is another platform that's very uh, similar to this one over here that we're going to talk about next. Um, as you can see here, they have uh, similar features. They have the, you know, the first feature would kind of give you just an overall view of the block and the 
transactions. They also have um, you know the two D feature would give you would gives you the view of the entire district in this uh two D view. I mean this three D view, which you, and you can also um you know click on the transactions and on the right hand side over here it does kind of the same thing. It tells you know it gives you the um value you know that was transacted in that parcel and also um gives you the parcel number over here but they take it a step further where they give you the ability to view the district based on v bytes which i believe is the space um a transaction took in the block um you know which is pretty interesting here as you can see this gives you a completely you know different feel and a completely different look of the districts you know um you can see here you could you know this district could represent a city and all these you know v bytes could be skyscrapers i can imagine as more and more development takes place you know we will have the tools to um build and add more design to these structures you know by the way um by the way this community the ecosystem is growing i believe those tools and you know features will be available here uh pretty soon but yeah this platform over here you know i that's this the first platform i seen that kind of gives you you know um the feel and look of this um districts this way but um yeah that's that with this platform it's pretty awesome overall bitmap explorer is another you know interesting platform that caught my attention uh, on this platform you can add your pfv or any image to your block once you connect your wallet um i'm not going to connect my wallet right now but uh, if you were to come to this platform you would connect your wallet via unisat or any other platform um but once you do you're able to you know come and click your block and uh you know change you know add your pfp photo or any image almost like a profile picture for your block like you can see here people are already you know <laughs> going crazy over here um yeah i feel like there's a lot of a lot of interesting things are going to come out of this platform, you know. Um, yeah, I'm trying to zoom around the screen to see if I can see if there are any more populated. Yeah, maybe I should have stopped and wait for a little bit. Wow. This is nice. When I was looking at it first, you didn't have, you know, as these many PFPs around. Wow, this is really cool. This is awesome. And uh, yeah, and over here you have um, this chat box. You were able to, you know, chat with people who are in within the community once you connect your wallet. Uh, and also, if you do zoom out, you can see um, these glowing orange um, squares indicating that those are the people online right now within they're connected online. Like right now, if I was connected to my wallet, um, I, it would, my squares would be, you know, indicating that um, they will be glowing orange indicating them online. And also, I will be able to see like glowing, you know, green squares indicating that those are my bitmaps. But um, yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty cool platform, and I'm really looking forward to uh, what they will build. You know, out, out, um, on top of this, um, also, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's just pretty early. Like I said, we're just so early, and we're like two months into this project, and all of these platforms are coming in. I'm really looking forward to it overall uh yeah the bitmap ecosystem is going pretty fast and i'm you know pretty excited to see what the future holds uh, i'm a strong believer in the project and i believe bitmap you know is far more superior than any other metaverse project in you know the digital space that's why i'm kind of you know a firm believer in it um but that's it today for my video on the bitmap ecosystem uh if you found this video informative you know give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates on bitmap you know, until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.